that's what I was hoping. Alright, so good morning! So I am hearing the mantled howler monkey. Now it'll be hard to see them, but maybe since they're so close, we can at least get a backlit image. They're kind of far up there. Here you see them reaching for leaves, kind of making their way across. So this actually is the animal that I was talking about that is the loudest terrestrial mammal in the world. Um, it's second only to uh, a sea-going mammal, which is the, the blue whale. Most of the time we hear them further up the mountain, but some, some mornings you definitely do hear them loud and clear right above your uh, tent or, or cabina, um, as I did the other morning. Hey guys, so I am up in the jungle house. It is about 60 or 70 steps up, so if you're going to stay in this, you better be ready for quite the uphill climb but it is well worth it because I've been up here just chilling because we don't have any guests right now and I really like this view um, it's a little backlit but you can see that we're quite high and I just watched a troop of howler monkeys go by and it was cool to watch them use the branches as their highway and I really took in the fact that they're not only just, you know, hiking along from tree to tree, they're, they're, they're tasting leaves along the way. And I read in Tropical Nature a book that I've read a couple times now and really um, cements in me the tropical ecology of this place, which is so rich. So what they do as they're moving along between the trees is uh, take basically a sampling from this or that tree and uh, that's kind of a, a way for them to avoid consuming too many of one leaf because sometimes they'll have toxins. And so it's just kind of a, a way to spread out the kinds of things they're eating. So they move slowly along through the forest, I'm stopping to take this or that leaf. And as they were going by, I was pleased to see um, really tiny babies uh, holding on to their mothers for dear life, literally. Um, they, some of them would be on the back. I saw one on the belly of a mother. Um, the other day I saw one just climbing all over the mom. I'm sure that was quite, quite the uh, distraction for her, but uh, quite fun for the baby. But boy are they cute, and one of them had its tail wrapped around his mother's tail. Yeah, so it was fun to watch these guys just making their way, eating their evening meal. Uh, these guys, they're some of my favorites, and I tend to talk back to them, as you might have heard. Oh, 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 oh. So they're pretty cool, and they're definitely a, a key part in this ecosystem. Um, one thing that I noticed as they were walking along, they're knocking leaves off of the trees, they're knocking water off the leaves, um, so they're, they're bringing more water down. To the forest floor they're also creating more leaf litter which is very important on a rainforest floor because as we might know during the winters up in the united states and other temperate zones we get a huge influx of leaf litter from the falling leaves in autumn and so that's able to sit there for a long time and decompose into some rich soil so what happens in the rainforest is that 
since it's constantly growing, there's constantly a few leaves falling. You'll look around every now and then you'll see a leaf falling. Usually I'm distracted by it because I think it's a bird, but really uh, there's no major leaf fall ever at one time during the year. And so there's only ever a little leaf cover on the ground. Um, and so the soil never has a real chance to, to get that rich, deep compost. Or it, so, th so what happens is the fl forest floor here is much thinner. Um, and so the nutrients only go about maybe half an inch, five centimeters. And so that makes it interesting for the trees, which is why you'll notice that they have quite large buttresses. And reaching roots. Because they're reaching as far as they can, as shallow as they can, to get those nutrients. Because any deeper, they just hit clay. And also, as you know, these buttresses are, are for stability. Because since these trees don't have a deep tap root, um, they really rely on those buttresses to stay aloft. Um, so anyways, I just wanted to say hi, and um, I really thank you all for tuning in, um, and especially to those patrons of mine that are willing to help support this podcast and also make sure that more can come, um, because I'm going to be working hard to make sure that happens, and um, I'm doing this for you. I'm doing this to help just give people a wider perspective of, of the kind of place that not as many people can get out to. It takes a long time to learn about this place and I invite you to come learn about it with me. Uh, so thank you and once again thank you. Pura Vida. Indeed. <laughs>